Hi, my name is Mike Quinn, and this is the Ultimate Frontline Leadership Training Podcast. Today, we're going to be talking about one of the best parts about being a manager, where you get to play the hero. Usually, in any given day, there are about a dozen ways in which a manager can become a hero. They either include ways in which a manager can take preemptive measures to ensure that everything goes great, or when a manager takes extraordinary measures to make sure a wrong got turned into a very right. One of the ways you can be a hero by taking a preemptive uh, strike is by, say, uh, you're working a shift and uh, the evening guy's called in sick. And he's supposed to do the food order. Well, now who's going to do the food order? Most mediocre managers are going to say, well, it's not my job, and they're just going to go about finishing the rest of their shift and take it off. But a good manager is going to go, oh, here's an opportunity to be a hero. I'm going to jump in. I'm going to do the inventory for that person, and then now, tomorrow, the food is going to make it in, and there's not going to be any problems. That's being a hero. Those types of things are awesome. If something falls down, and it's somebody else's job, and they're not around, step up and be the hero. You see, everyone comes to you with an expectation that everything is going to be great when dealing with your organization. They trust the brand to take care of them. This is why franchises and branches exist, to give assurance to the customer that things will be consistently perfect when doing business with your company. So when all goes well, there are not any cheers for success or celebrations of victory. There's just, thanks, see you later. That usually means a job well done. But what happens when something goes bad? Well, most managers feel they have to shove blame onto somebody else in order to save face. But the company's face wasn't saved very much with that maneuver, so in the end, not much was salvaged with the relationship between the customer and your company. You may feel better about not being at fault, but the customer feels the damage to the illusion that all, and insert your company name here, uh, are great. So what can you do? I mean, I loved it when a problem came my way. This was a chance to be the hero. So how do we be heroes? Well, heroes make amends. That's right, we've already talked about this. The first thing you do is apologize that the standards with which your company had have fallen down momentarily, but reassure them that this is not normal and you're going to make it right. Number two, let them know that they personally are very important to you and you don't want to damage the relationship you once had with them. Okay, step three, fix the problem. Make a new meal, give a free dessert, upgrade their room, whatever needs to be done, and then go above and beyond what they expect. And they'll usually tell you what they expect. Well, step three, fix the problem. Whatever it is, make a new meal, give them a free dessert, upgrade their room, whatever needs to be done to go above and beyond what they expect. So don't just comp a meal. Give them another one too, or a dessert, or whatever you can to make them feel you really care. You're going to give them a, a gift certificate for a free meal for their next visit. That's going to get them back in case they're soured at the first sign of a problem. The, they now have a ticket to come back and try you again. And that's where you're going to win them over is the next time you come in, there's not going to be a problem. They're going to go, oh, that was a one-time thing, not a big deal, and everything's great with the customer again. All right, so make sure that you not only fix a problem, but you go above and beyond what they're expecting. Make it twice as, as valuable as the problem that they experienced. Then when they come in again, see to it personally that everything is perfect. Because This would be step four. Make sure it doesn't happen again. Do this, and they'll be telling their friends about this for weeks. And you may gain some new customers as well. Remember, this isn't your money. So spend your company's money on making your customers happy if they already aren't. All right? Be the hero. I actually look forward to when things went sideways just so I could be the hero. It's that much fun and rewarding. And you may even get a few new friends out of it. I once had an elderly old grouch of a regular customer offer to buy me a 31 Flavors ice cream store after turning him into a loyal fan. Who knows what will happen to you. So stay tuned for next week when I'll be teaching you about unicorn envy. Until next time.